launch status check. Verify ready to resume count and go for launch. OTC? OTC is go. TVC? TVC is go. PTC? PTC is go. LPS? LPS go. Houston flight? Houston flight is go. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. It works up here. It works down there. The Aeroside story begins in space, actually in Earth orbit. It is 1994, and NASA has laid plans for man's first mission to Mars. But there's a catch. Ethylene gas, the naturally occurring hormone that signals plants and vegetables to ripen, has to be evacuated from the food storage chambers on board the space station. Why? Because, while in nature, ethylene is harmlessly dispersed into the atmosphere, in space, in a sealed shuttle, ethylene buildup is toxic. So toxic, in fact, that it will kill the very plants and vegetables it is meant to bring to harvest. With the future of manned deep space exploration at stake, an elegant solution was needed. In other words, NASA had a problem. So once again, NASA turned to its cadre of skilled scientists, the same scientists that used the latest and in innovative hydroponics and other advanced farming techniques to grow crops in space. Now they were being asked, how do we keep the crops fresh? The answer? A unique air purification technology, photocatalytic oxidation requiring virtually no maintenance, producing no harmful byproducts, and requiring no more power than that of a couple of standard 100 watt light bulbs. And it worked. Now, Freed from ethylene and a host of biological microorganisms, our astronauts would have a sustainable food supply for their odyssey. Such was the success of this new technology in the space program that it soon found its way into many diverse commercial applications back on Earth. Under the Aeroside brand, this NASA technology was first deployed in the fresh fruits and vegetables business. After all, ethylene removal was key here, too. As leading grocery chains like SuperValue and Whole Foods knew, the removal of ethylene was synonymous with increased profits. Simply locate an aeroside machine in food storage areas, and strawberries stayed bright red, signaling farm freshness. Apples, blueberries, and grapes, too. In fact, all produce benefited from these remarkable machines. Odor control was also evident, as onion and chili pepper smells no longer permeated the store. Instead, customers were welcomed with crisp, clean, fresh air. The floral industry was next. Florists reported that cut flowers lasted up to 15 days longer within an aeroside environment. As word of this food and floral preservation secret began to spread among savvy growers and retailers, catastrophe hit. It happened in Washington, D.C., in what was a seemingly unrelated field, bioterrorism. Within the laboratories at the University of Wisconsin, our scientists put the aeroside unit to its toughest test, anthrax. And it worked. Aeroside was clinically proven to kill anthrax spores and other nanoparticles. Subsequent clinical testing was done at Texas Tech University and Texas A&M to determine what other airborne particulate could be eliminated. Mycotoxins from mold, check. 
Legionnaire's disease, check. Whooping cough, rubella, flu, pneumonia, rhinovirus, smallpox, and SARS, check. The National Renewable Energy Laboratory conducted tests, as did industry-leading indoor air quality specialists, AQS Labs. These tests, along with a host of others, clearly demonstrated aerocides' remarkable ability to eliminate bacteria, mold, fungi, viruses, allergens, and harmful volatile organic compounds from the air. These findings led the U.S. Food and Drug Administration to list aricide as a Class II medical device. This classification has spurred various case studies and related opportunities within the healthcare field. Intensive care units, operating rooms, patient waiting and resting areas have all been proven to benefit from aricide treatment. Surgeons report the virtual elimination of post-operative infections, while hospital administrators quietly admit to meaningful reductions in nosocomial diseases. Air quality experts agree that aeroside provides air safety benefits for both patients and caregivers alike. What about the current topic of superbugs? the genetically mutated bacteria whose prodigy is resistant to today's antibiotics. Aricide eliminates them as well. Simply put, aricide represents the next generation of air purification for today's state-of-the-art hospitals and related health care facilities. Bear in mind, aricide has broad application it can be used in any environment where indoor air quality is important. Our systems have been deployed in hotels where travelers are concerned about allergens and are willing to pay a premium for purified air. Daycare centers and schools where parents and faculty fiercely guard their occupants from infections and other bacteria. Aricide also has application to call centers, office environments, even movie theaters. How can one machine, one technology be so efficacious across such a spectrum of uses? Because Aricide uses a proprietary nanoparticle solution that permanently bonds to a glass surface. That means it won't flake off. The chamber is then packed with these treated silicates, irradiated with UV energy, creating an environment that literally results in trillions of molecular contacts with the surface. Contact results in instant mineralization and pure air. Aricide is unique. It contains no filters, so it won't wear out. It never needs cleaning and it destroys organic matter regardless of how microscopic. Our technology is green, producing no ozone, and it works. Aricide units use the identical NASA-developed technology proven to eliminate 99.9997% of harmful organisms. Proven by NASA. Proven by leading universities and laboratories. No other product can make that statement without consciously setting out to deceive the customer. Be warned, theirs is not from NASA. Aricide is the only NASA-developed air purification product available anywhere, and it works. Comparing them to Aricide is like comparing a child's toy airplane to the space shuttle. There is only one NASA TIO2 technology. It is called Aricide. And Akita is its sole representative. Akita now invites you to join a select group of leading companies and policymakers in their quest to improve life through this unique technology.
It works up there. It works down here. And now, it can work for you. Yeah.